Hi Gender Queer Chat, it's Callie here. It's Saturday and this week we're talking about envy. Um, okay, so um, basically the, the topic was um, do you envy cis people or trans people who have kind of transitioned more, which I suppose could be preceded as do you envy kind of more binary identified people um, and people whose gender expression matches their binary identification? Um, I suppose the short answer to that is no, but it's a very qualified no, and I shall explain why it's qualified. Um, it's because I don't wish I were binary identified, but I do. Um, there are just kind of certain aspects of being genderqueer which are not fun and which I could do without. Sort of, um, uh, you know, being looked at odd ways and just kind of being marginalised and being described the wrong way, having the wrong kind of words used for me. Um, and a lot of the a lot of it is it will hopefully be better for other gender queer people in the future, but just that um you know it it's not that people deliberately ignore your gender queerness, it's that people don't know about gender queerness and even if they do even if they've heard of it they might not kind of understand it. Um and so, and that's something that's going to come as, as these things kind of trickle down. And so, subsequent generations of gender queer people will be more um, widely acknowledged and accepted. I am pretty sure. Um, so that's one thing that I and there are other um, kind of uh, sectors of of um, the kind of queer community that experience this so um, like um, cause, so with, although acceptance of um, uh, gay men and lesbians is growing which is and, and is you know fast growing especially in in the west that's great but um, but there are still other things that need to be kind of picked up along the way like um, bisexual and pansexual people still experience um, uh, sort of biphobia and people kind of saying oh, people aren't really bisexual they're just either they're gay and they're kidding themselves or they're straight and they want attention and this is ground that we've been I've been over before I'm sure in previous videos talking about this but you know and um, and then uh, and all trans people have and even binary identified trans people have you know still trouble being accepted obviously and so this is something that's gradually happening and gender queer people um, and various other kind of groups of people are still kind of on the tail end of that but it's all you know it's all going in the right direction I think as long as we keep um, not being invisible um, but uh, and so and so I do kind of envy that and but I don't think I envy people their kind of their kind of bodies or their body confidence. I don't really feel I I feel much happier actually with my kind of body and what I look like um, and my anatomy since I kind of came to terms with my gender queerness because I don't see my body as a male body as such. Um, I see it as a kind of. I mean, there are things about it that I would that I would want to change if, like, I had a magic wand, obviously. But um, I don't see it as a as um, that I'm something else trapped in the body trapped in the body of a man. I see it as I have a body which is of the kind that is usually described as male but it's um, a genderqueer body with that kind of anatomy and that kind of 
because it's my body and I'm gender queer, therefore my body is gender queer. It's a gender queer body which is in a certain configuration which is usually described as male, but it's my body so I get to think of it and describe it in any way I want. And so you know, I do have a gender queer body. Um, and that's great and it has encouraged a much greater kind of acceptance of my body and what I look like um, than I think even a lot of my binary identified friends do have. Like even people who are binary identified, cisgendered um, and um, straight or otherwise, um, you know, people, lots of people have a lot of body issues and issues of kind of self-confidence about their looks and stuff and my issues of self-confidence have become less important as I've come out as gender queer I suppose is what I'm trying to say and I see other people kind of still kind of um, struggling with a lot of these issues and I think I have really moved on with mine um, and so I don't envy people for that reason. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, the one other thing that I would possibly mention um, would be just kind of how you relate to people um, for a reason why I don't envy binary identified people because, or why I kind of do, because no, I don't, but I don't envy them, but it is difficult because people often like people know how to behave towards masculine identified people or towards man identified people, and people know how to behave towards women identified people. But people in the middle, you kind of find that things are maybe a bit uneven. I don't know um, if people are kind of. I sometimes feel that people who are meeting for the first time and it does wear off, but people who are meeting for the first time are a little kind of wary of me and a little kind of unsure of how to um, react to me. I dig in my recollection to see if it's just my general um, being an oddball which uh, which is the cause of this, which is not out with the realms of possibility, you know. Um, but I think that um, gender expression may have something to do with it. I'm not saying, it's just that I could sometimes do without that um, kind of um, additional impediment to getting on in the world of social interaction. But, you know, um, swings and roundabouts. And I find that um, when I do get to know people that my attachments to them are um, kind of on a more because because if you have to work harder to get to know people then your attachments to them are um kind of a bit stronger and a bit more kind of rooted in mutual understanding i hope um uh, you you would hope i mean sometimes um sometimes that is not borne out but yeah most of the time i would say that it is um, okay, so I think that's um, all I'm going to say on this topic and I think what I like about this topic is that everybody has kind of been kind of, there's kind of been a lot of range kind of within, even within individual people on the channel's responses and I think that's really um, cool that this is an issue that people are able to, I mean obviously we're all amazing and we, we all have multifaceted opinions on on every issue that comes up before us but especially something like this um, I just think it's been such a a broad um, it's been such a it's been very rich this week is what I'm trying to say yeah yeah see you next week